tw it was 22 degrees and there's still snow. What is this? What is this? What's up people? Vince here reporting for duty. Thank you for joining us today. I'm glad you guys are doing well. So as you guys know, <laughs> as you guys know, um, I'm in Banff and this is actually, I believe, it may be the second time I've been here actually. Uh, my dad mentioned I was here before, but I can't really remember it so for me it's like the first time. And this is amazing, like unbelievable. Um, for those of you who don't know, I live in Manitoba from Canada and there's actually like no mountains at all so this is kind of crazy. Um, I miss this, I love this and like just being in the nature, you guys probably know this, but I just love being in the nature, so um, I'm gonna enjoy this as much as I can today. I'm definitely gonna try to grab some dope pictures, maybe some B-roll if I can, and uh, yeah, basically just enjoy myself. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it out here earlier because it is packed. I wanted to get here in the morning, but I couldn't, so I'm gonna have to deal with what I have here. Wouldn't that be boss to stay in that hotel and wake up to that every morning? to get the Instagram story. This is way too good. <laughs> Posing game on point. All right, so one huge debate um, I've often had with myself and probably other photographers too um, is that like for, especially for like landscape photographers, where you travel to is everything. You can get a dope picture from your backyard, but it's not gonna get anywhere. So it's all about getting those bangers, getting like Hong Kong, Banff locations like this, um, just to get that Instagram like, and that's the only way you can succeed. I don't think that's true, um, because although these are nice, uh, these are very nice, and these do probably get you more likes than perhaps other things, um, just generically, um, I took some of the best pictures I've ever taken of my career um, in my backyard. Um, I'll try to flash a couple of those on the screen right now, but uh, as you can see, it doesn't take much um, just to get a nice picture. Um, it's all about being creative, it's all about using what you have, and uh, really just appreciating what you have around you. Yes, definitely, locations like this help you, um, I mean, just get quality and just the quality and environment is nicer, but I don't think that this should be your only resort. And you should be looking for beauty and inspiration, and not only just the famous locations, but also just the small mundane things in everyday life. So while I was shooting that, absolutely like everyone was looking at me. It's very interesting shooting a vlog in such a populated and um, busy, occupied location. Anyways, vlog life. But I mean, I'm not gonna be a hypocrite and say that this isn't nice because I've been here for the last like 30 minutes taking the picture of the same location. Also uh, just upgraded the mic on this one. Uh, got a Rode Mic Pro. So the audio should be uh, a little better. Let me know what you guys think. In a location with so many people with so many different cameras, I didn't think that me talking to a camera would attract so much attention. I mean, it's better talking to a camera than uh, just talking to yourself when people have like headphones on and they're on a phone call, right? Or do I just look crazy? I probably just look crazy. All right, so just as I mentioned, did I mention it? Um, I'm at Lake Louise right now in Banff, Alberta, Canada. After I'm done here, after I'm done hiking and exploring, I'm gonna head over to Moraine Lake hopefully. It's a little bit more outside. It's a little bit further out, so we'll see how that goes. And hopefully I can get some more dope shots because apparently it's even more beautiful than what we just saw. Like, what? Almost stepped in that. I don't know if you guys can tell the color of that, but that is so blue. Oh, that water is so blue. It's so blue. Like, it's like aqua. Oh. 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 
Wait, let me just pause that B-roll for a second just to highlight that there's still ice and it's 22 degrees outside. Like what? All right, back to B-roll. All right, so the one thing I will agree in terms of locations and photography is that it's always great to be able to go outside. Why? Because you're gonna be capturing moments and pictures that more people can relate to. So for example, a lot of the people from Calgary, a lot of the people from Canada, other people who visited here are going to recognize these pictures and these sceneries and are going to relate to it. So um, definitely I'm not arguing that you shouldn't go out and it's not worth going out to locations. It does help. I'm just saying you shouldn't limit yourself in terms of just going out to the popular locations and depending on that, just to prove your skill because you should be skillful enough to get good pictures without the locations. <laughs> what is happening? I think I visited as much as I could. I feel like I know this mountain by heart because I just took like 300 pictures of that mountain. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna head over to Moraine Lake and we're gonna see how it is over there. <laughs> and we're here. Welcome to Moraine Lake. This is just incredible. Woo. Hey. Can I have this in my backyard? Yes. As soon as I got here, first thing I thought was, I gotta go up there. Mm -hmm. Troopers! Ow! Woo. <laughs> this is going to be a challenging climb, climbing with a camera. Let's do it! <laughs> yeah, we're good, we're good. <laughs> this is tough, but we're good. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I don't want to make the vlog last too long, so I'm going to wrap things up here. Um, yeah, so just overall, um, don't depend on your location. Don't limit yourself to the location. Really improve yourself so that when you do actually have the opportunity to visit these types of beautiful landscapes or areas, you are able to actually capture them properly. So that's it for me today. If you enjoyed the vlog, feel free to hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe, it actually does help. And uh, share this to your friends. If ever you've been to Banff, please drop a comment. Let me know about your experiences. Let me know what you like. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Good, do it like that. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> like good, it's Steve fine. Martin on the hill. Maybe you're done. I'm I'm done. Right. I feel so, I feel so good. So I just asked this gentleman here just to grab a picture of me on there doing that same pose <laughs> and probably like six other people just passed by and literally asked it's this guy Vince to take the pose. same picture. Vince Blaze. Yes. He's the man. There you go. Vince Blaze. <laughs>